All right, welcome back, everybody. I want to walk through a trade that I took today in Apple. I'm going to close part of this position down, and I want to kind of explain what's going on here. So I opened this trade today. You can see days to days open is at zero. I opened it today. The call that I have in this trade expires on Friday, and the put spread that I have in this trade expires in a few weeks. So I want to close the call today. And I'm I'm kind of at that spot right there around forty one dollars. We can see that I paid two nineteen to open the trade, and I'm past my fifty percent profit. And yes, I'm pausing there for dramatic effect. Forty one dollars is past my fifty percent profit. So that's what I want to explain today as I'm closing this trade. Why is forty four dollars more than fifty percent of my profit? Well, if we look at Apple, since I opened this trade, I took two trades today. I put on a credit spread and collected a dollar fifty-two, and then I bought a call for two nineteen. But I didn't really pay two nineteen. I really paid the difference between two nineteen and a dollar fifty-two. If we bring up the calculator, we take two nineteen and subtract the dollar fifty-two. We can see that I actually paid $67 for that call. If I was going to aim for a 50% profit, then we would divide 67 by 2, and we can see that my 50% target should have been around, we take 67 plus 33, that'd be $99, right? So if I can close that option for around $100, then that would be good. Or look at it another way. If I've made $34 in profit, then I'm good to go. $34. I want my commissions. So that would be uh, another two and a half dollars, right? So if I can make $40 on this trade, then I'm good. And we can see right now, if I close the trade, I've made $47. All I needed was 40 to be more than 50% profit, right? And I'm there. I'm at 48. We're actually rallying up at the moment. If we go over here and we see Apple is at the top of its day and still pushing. So let's go into the intraday time frame and see what's really going on here in Apple. We're at this major inflection point. This is a, a double top, right? So we've got this double top here in Apple. This is a major, major inflection point. We could hit here and break through, or we could hit here and fall back down. This is a really good time to put on a stop. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to close the trade using a stop limit order. Well, let's use a stop market order. There we go. So if the price of this option falls to, let's say, 250, then it can get me out. All right? If the market falls to 250, it will trigger a market order and it will close my trade at whatever price with a market order at that point. Now we could put in the limit order, but then we have to you know, try to actually see that come in. So 250, maybe we'd say 248 would be our, our limit order in the market. Okay. So that trade right there would be a stop that we would be holding on this market for the day. There's no reason for us to actually put on like a, you know, good till cancel or anything like that. And there you go. That would actually be holding that stop in place right there. Okay. So right now I could just close the trade and make $47 profit, but we are at this pivotal moment. It's a make or break level. And, you know, other than being hair trigger, just sitting here watching the trade and getting ready to babysit it if something goes wrong, I can just use that stop instead. On a lot of other brokers, they might let you put a stop in on the price of the market. So we could say if Apple drops below, 
uh, 126.50 kick me out of the trade. You know, we, we could do something like that. But I think this is just as appropriate. If we were ready to stay hair trigger on the trade, what we could do is we could come over here into the, the options chain. We can see the value of that option right there. It's it's worth 263. We can also right click on that and hit close position and have it loaded here on the queue, ready to go. And since we are just in a single and we're not in uh, a spread, it actually gives us a chance to close with a market order or a limit order. So we can get out of this trade in the blink of an eye. A market order is not necessarily a good way to do business, except look at the bid ask spread in here. We are in Apple. Apple is historically something that is the most liquid company out there on a day to day basis. And so, you know, three pennies here. The market might let me slip, you know, one or two pennies either direction. But if I'm fighting a limit order, this thing could fall. 10 15 dollars before i finally got it closed so in a hair trigger situation perhaps it would be safer to, to use the market order right we really want to keep our eye on that market so let's go look at apple while it's sitting here at this major inflection point and we just want to know it is it going to make its way through there or is it going to take that rejection so this is uh, the video I wanted to make for you guys explaining what it is that I'm doing. I'm going to keep the Apple spread that I'm in, which is a, a really good $3 credit spread. I collected $1.50 for it, so I'm sitting right in the middle. I want to keep that, but I want to close this call today because it's already done what I wanted it to do. You could, you know, put on a trade like this with an expectation of holding it longer. It all comes down to the strategy that you like to use. I'm only looking to just take advantage of the day. You can see that Apple gapped up in the overnight hours, and then it ran up to this peak, basically at the 127. I've got out of it what I wanted to get out of it. I don't need to carry it longer and hold more of that risk. right? So from where I sit, I'm good. I got what I wanted to get out of it. But if you're using that in, in your own strategy, have a plan ahead of time on where you want to get out and then just make sure that that fits your risk. So that's it, guys. I appreciate your time. I look forward to seeing you at the next video.